Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic rates, reaction rates and reversible reactions. And today we are going to be looking at the last uh, factor that is concentration. So you see how changing the concentration of the reactant and products affects the equilibrium and then you do one question. So concentration, for example, if we look at this uh, equilibrium reaction where bromine is reacting with water to form the bromide, bromide and hydrogen ions. So they are dissociating in the solution to form these ions. So remember, it's beginning with a yellow color and this yellow color is because of the bromine to a colorless color because it has dissolved in the water. So if we were to add sodium hydroxide into the equilibrium, and uh, the equilibrium, the concentration of hydrogen ions is going to decrease and the rate of forward reaction is favored. To, so the equilibrium will shift to the right. So the reaction of bromine with water increases and there's loss of color of the bromine water. So one of the observations you notice in this reaction is that the yellow orange color of bromine disappears or a colorless solution is formed reason why this is possible, remember when we are adding sodium hydroxide into the system, we are adding hydroxyl ions into the system. So when we add hydroxyl ions to the system, the hydrogen ions already that is in the system reacts to form water in the equation as shown. So if it reacts to form water, this process helps in removing the hydrogen ions from the equilibrium mixture. So the equilibrium will shift such that it needs to form more hydrogen ions. Remember we are trying to change the amount of hydroxide ions that have been brought into the system. This is a change, this is an addition uh, solution that has been added that was not there. So equilibrium shifts such that it needs to get rid of this excess OH ions. And the only way it can get rid of this excess OH ions is by reacting with more hydrogen ions. But you do not have hydrogen ions in the system, they are not enough to counteract. So the system works that it producing more hydrogen ions, more hydrogen ions, so that these hydrogen ions now can react to H ions to form water. So that is the reason why the equilibrium shifts to the right. So we form more product or more of the colorless solution is formed. So let's look at addition of an acid. So if we add an acid, the concentration of hydrogen ions increases and the bromine is formed and the orange yellow color of bromine water becomes more intense. You notice we are looking at the observation that we are going to see first. So what you notice when you add hydrogen ions into the system is yellow color. The yellow color is going to be very, very intense. The reason why this is so is because when we add hydrochloric acid, we are introducing more hydrogen ions into the system. So if you're introducing more hydrogen ions into the system, it means the system will shift such that that excess hydrogen ions needs to be get gotten rid of. So it means the system will shift back or backwards because it means those hydrogen ions need to react to the bromate and bromide ions to produce bromine. They need to get rid of those excess. So the back reaction is favored, as you can see. So the equilibrium will shift to the left, hence the increase in the intensity of the yellow orange color of bromine water. So we look at further examples. So in this case is changing the concentration of a reaction, but now adding those uh, reactants or products depending on what you have. So what if uh, literally you take away a reactant or a product? So for example, if you look at this reaction, if you remove the sulfur 6 oxide, it means that it will cause the equilibrium to produce more of what has been removed. So that it can go back to the original state it was the equilibrium state. So reducing the concentration of sulfur 6 oxide causes more sulfur 6 oxide to be converted. So the forward reaction is favor. And then addition of oxygen and sulfur 4 oxide is also having the same effect. It means we have now more of reactant. That tells you that we need they need to react more to get rid of that excess. So the forward reaction is still favored. So addition of sulfur 4 and oxygen to the equilibrium shifts the equilibrium also to the right due to an increase in concentration of the products and more yield of sulfur six. So uh, addition of hydrochloric acid 
will shift the equilibrium to the left. This is because pyroglalic acid dissolves oxygen. So we will be having less concentration of the reactant. So the system will work that such that the product are going to decompose more to form more reactants so that they can stabilize or be at equilibrium. Another one last example is the reaction of the chromate ions with hydrogen ions to form uh, the chromate 6 ions plus uh, water. So addition of sodium hydroxide into the equilibrium, we are adding hydroxyl ions into the equilibrium. So it means that hydroxyl ions are going to react with more hydrogen ions to form the orange uh, solution and water. So the the back the rate of backward reaction is usually favored the reaction of dichromate ions with water to form the chromate ions and hydrogen ions increases so there's a change in color to yellow so note this reaction you need to be very careful especially when you are looking at where the equilibrium is shifting so we are adding hydroxyl ions into the equilibrium that means hydroxyl ions needs to react with hydrogen ions to form water but now we do not have enough hydrogen ions. We only have a, a certain amount of hydrogen ions. So the equilibrium has to shift in such a way that more hydrogen ions is being produced to get rid of the excess OH ions that have been added into the system. That's the reason why the back reaction is favored. So you will notice that more of the yellow uh, solution is going to be formed. So the equilibrium uh, shifts to the left and formation of more reactants. So the reaction becomes more orange. So when we add hydrochloric acid, the effect is opposite. So addition of hydrogen ions uh, increases in the system. So more of the dichromate solution is formed. So the orange color, it becomes more intense. In the previous, it's a yellow color that was becoming intense. So the reason why this is so, this is very easy because we're adding more hydrogen into the system. It means we need to get rid of that hydrogen ions, meaning this forward reaction will occur very much so it can rid of this excess hydrogen ions that have been placed in the system. So you notice more of orange uh, color, in the, especially in all the observations. So more of uh, chromate, uh, orange chromate, and uh, water is going to be formed. So let's look at this uh, question. So you can see carbon 2 oxide is reacting with hydrogen gas to form uh, ethanol, as you can see. So when we look at what would happen to the equilibrium if the concentration of carbon 2 oxide is reduced. So we are taking away the amount of carbon 2 oxide. So the moment we do that, the system has to like change or the equilibrium has to change to co to counteract this change that has been made so it's, it's really to make sure we are producing more carbon two oxide to replace what we have removed or what has been reduced this means that the back reaction is going to be favored so the first thing we are going to say because we have been told what will happen so we will say more of the ethanol will decompose to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. So the equilibrium will shift the left to cause an increase in the product reactants removed from the system. So in some questions, you're usually required to like talk about the observations, but in this case, the observations were not one of the questions we were asked. We just asked to explain what would happen to the equilibrium. So the equilibrium is going to shift to the left. So more of carbon uh, two oxide will be produced or more of the, the ethanol is going to decompose. And we said why that is possible is because the equilibrium will shift to, re to decompose the 
is and also that more uh, carbon two oxide can be produced to replace the one that was removed in the reactant. So that's how we answer those questions. Uh, that brings us to the end. Uh, see you in the next uh, lesson. Thank you.